How's it going guys, Root Junkie here, and in today's video I'm pretty pumped because my Moto X Pure Edition right here came a couple days early, so we're going to go ahead and do that video for you, showing off the features and uh, what's inside the box. So let's go do this. The Moto X Pure Edition comes in quite a larger box than the previous generation but it opens up very very nicely with this hinge you can just pull the top back right to here and displays the phone and some accessories on the side let's take a closer look in the box here we have on the right um, underneath this wrapper is a little bumper case so there's no back you can see right through it but it covers the edges uh, which I'm not sure if I'm going to like or not, but it's cool that it is in here. And then obviously we have the turbo charging uh, power brick here, which is supposed to turbo charge real fast. It does not unplug, um, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but the cable is very, very long and uh, looks like it be plenty long to reach wherever you're going. So that's nice. Um, obviously, this is the main device right here the Moto X very very cool um, super pumped about this I love Moto Maker and being able to design this with the accent to match and then the back which is blue um, just yeah really happy about that oh no, no, no put it on the face put it on the back done that before it's not good here is the uh, manuals um, you know standard stuff that nobody's gonna read probably <laughs> set that to the side and then here is the uh, little sim extraction tool and I like these I think Motorola does a nice job with them they actually look like a quality extraction tool so that's nice and there you go that is everything so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Moto X on the right hand side you have both your volume up and down and your power button and the power button has a little bit of texture to tell it apart from the volume button on the top you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the SIM tray which you need that SIM extraction tool to remove. The left side is just clean leaving a beautiful looking phone. On the bottom of the phone you can see right here that we have the micro USB port and then right next to it in really tiny print is the model number which is the XT1575 and I love that this is right here it just makes it simple to find and pretty cool that it's right there. On the back we have the Motorola dimple right there uh, which is really nice, the dual LED flash, the 21 megapixel camera, and then of course the back texture which is really nice and I'm really liking it. Let's go ahead and peel off the screen protector off of this beautiful 5.7 inch Quad HD display. Ooh, that's a great sound. On the front of the device I chose the white color um, as my accent color and this does have stereo front facing speakers which I love. Uh, which is great there's quite a few sensors here as you can see it does have an LED flash right there and then right next to it is the camera so I like the LED flash I think that's nice on a front facing camera um, other than that I did notice these blue dots which looks like buttons but they're actually not they are sensors and they pick up different things for the active display feature on the Motorola devices let's go ahead and power this thing up for the first time and check out the nifty boot animation here but while this is running, why don't we go ahead and check out this bumper case that came with the Moto X Pure. I uh, went ahead and already installed it on here and it's interesting. I'm not sure if I like it or not. It does protect the phone, which is nice. It's not really, you know, I don't know. It's It kind of covers up some of the accent, which is what makes it look so cool. It is clear so you can still see the accent, but it just got a funny feel to me. I'm not sure if I like it. But easiest way it is just to pop it off the back. You can see right there, no back cover. I almost wish it was all clear and had a clear back cover. So that's how you kind of pop it on and off, but just really not sure what I think about it. You'll have to use it for a couple days maybe. Just to give you guys a quick comparison in size here on the Moto X Pure versus the Nexus 6. Um, Nexus 6 is basically a 6 inch phone and obviously like I said the Moto X Pure is a 5.7 inch phone. Um, so if you really didn't like the Nexus 6 because of the size, maybe this Moto X is the perfect fit for you. 
Um, I'm really liking the device, and uh, you can see it's just a little bit smaller in the, in the form factor along the edges of the device, which is, you know, like I said, just a little smaller. Here, I'll try to move it over. There you go. So you got about a quarter inch on the side, smaller, so easier to grip if you don't have a big hand. And then we rotate it around, and it's about a quarter inch on the top. So quarter inch kind of uh, on the two edges is going to be your size difference on this device. Now that the Moto X Pure Edition has fully booted up, let's take a quick little gander here at the software and what comes with it. So here you go. It's basically stock Android. That's why it has the Pure Edition name. But I'm going to show you the couple things that are not stock, okay? So if we come into our app drawer, you guys can see that uh, there are a couple applications in here that, like I said, are not stock. So we have the Motorola Connect application, we have the Motorola Migrate application, and we have the Moto Moto application right there. Um, otherwise, the rest of this is all basic stock Android, um, which is great, actually. I love it. It's like having a Nexus, and that's why I compared it to the Nexus 6 a little bit ago. So the rest of this, like I said, very much stock Android. You can uh, look at your, you know, recent stuff you've been running. That's in here. You can do your pull down and check out, well, your alarm if you want. All your quick toggles in here and uh, go into settings. And I, I just love it. I like stock Android a lot. So this is really, really nice. You can see you're running Android version 5.1.1 which is Lollipop, and I'm sure that this thing's going to get an OTA update to um, Marshmallow as soon as that gets released. Not as soon, but very shortly after. Because it's stock Android, there's nothing to tweak. There's nothing to figure out. You pretty much just take the source and compile it and throw in your apps. It's simple. So there's no reason for it not to get OTA updates quite quickly. Um, other than that, there's pretty much not too much in here that's very different. I guess one of the features I show you is your active display stuff so basically when you wave your hand kind of over it it pops up any notifications and to ask if you want to unlock so that's a motorola feature the other thing that this does just like the moto g is your camera features so let me see if i can show you those on camera so there's a couple of these motion gestures that you can do that are really awesome and the first one i'm going to try to show you is to activate the camera so to activate your camera, once you have these turned on, you should just be able to rotate your phone really quick. And that should turn on your camera, which it is right there. I'll take a quick little picture of my uh, keyboard. And then you should be able to swipe to gallery. And there you go. So if you want to launch your camera very quickly, it's a nice little twist. Like I said, it's just like the Moto G, which is really awesome. Um, the other feature I guess I would show you would be the flashlight. So if you need to get your flashlight out really quick and turn on these back LEDs, let's see if I can do it on the first try. It's always a little difficult. You should be able to just chop your phone. There you go. And it did work. So it turned on both LEDs in the back and then just chop again and it turns off. There's a vibration that lets you know that you're activating it or not. And I like both these features. I think they're nice. They're a great complement to the pure Android experience. So I'm pretty happy with them. Well guys, that's going to wrap up my initial unboxing and review of some of the basic stuff that comes with the Moto X Pure. If you'd like to see more coverage on this awesome device right here, I'll be doing some video testing with the camera, probably posting some pictures that I'm taking with it on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google+. Definitely check out any of those. I do a lot on Twitter, especially on Google+. Um, post all kinds of content. So if you like my channel, you're really going to want to follow my social media because I put a lot out there that you just don't see on the channel. So, And also early access to certain things and tools I'm working on, things like that. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely follow any of my social media. You'll find the links to those in the video description below, along with the link to my Moto X uh, Pure Edition playlist for YouTube. Any videos I do on it will be posted down there. And then trust me, we'll be having all kinds of hacking, rooting, custom ROMs, any development that comes along the way, which I'm sure it will since this device can have its bootloader unlocked. Stay tuned for all those cool videos and hope you guys have enjoyed this and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.